Give me your worst husband logic experiences I'll go first. I've been clearing through some boxes for the past few days and started collecting everything that had to go in the trash in one box. I just saw my husband picking things out of it and his logic was we're going to the store so we need a box. So instead of taking an empty one besides the fridge, he empties out the one right in front of him. By doing so he dumps the material on our table that was full with the stuff that still needed. Sorting. He hasn't done it since we got together. But he used to put away pantry items by size. So, all one cans were put together. Regardless of their contents. All bags and bottles were put together by size and type. All two cans together. All 303 cans together. He put golden syrup right next to shoe polish. This was not a functional system for five people. One? Yes. Five? No. Oh. No no no. No one could find anything except him. So. We spent a weekend rearranging. It was 25 years ago and I'm still over here wondering why. Just why? My husband isn't circumcised. He's sensitive about it. One of our daughters asked if she could get labiaplasty because she felt like she had too much tissue down there. I mentioned it to my husband and he said, Oh my God. It's my fault. She got that from me. I have extra skin and she inherited it. I swept the floor one morning. At lunch after making popcorn I asked him to sweep the floor because there was dirt. He said he didn't need to sweep the floor because that was new dirt. So, my dad was driving the family on a road trip once. And a semi was passing opposing traffic so it was in our lane. Coming right toward us. My mom yelled at him to do something slow down. Get on the shoulder. Just something. My dad instead continued at full speed and said. Well. He's not supposed to be their woman facepalming thankfully. The truck got over in time and we've all lived to tell the tale of how my dad almost killed us all. To prove he was right. Smiling face with tear. He couldn't find the dinner plates. That were in the cabinet. I lost my ever loving mind. Fresh food grown at home is dirt food and he won't eat it. Blackberries. Apples. Pears. Strawberries. Plums. Raspberries. Nasturtiums. Squash. Zucchini. Sunflower. Tomatoes. Pumpkin. Potatoes. Onions. Garlic. Carrots. Cabbage. Lettuce. Herbs to name a few. Home canned or dried. Same thing. If he saw the soil it came from. It's dirt food and it's highly suspect. Fast food is clean though. Rolling on the floor laughing. Made puff pastry basil ham wraps. Basil is from the garden. Showed him the post. Will he eat it? Update in 10 minutes. He ate it. Red heart. My ex and I used to divide cleaning the floors with him vacuuming and me washing the floors. One day he asked why we didn't wash the floor first. There was always dirt left after vacuuming and washing. But if we washed the floor first. I think that was his reasoning. Secretly. I think he just wanted to not vacuum. Wouldn't hang the washing out on the washing line because it was a bit blowy face with rolling eyes. My husband is fine rinsing his plates and putting them in the sink but rinsing the plate and putting it into the open dishwasher is too much work. S net him to the grocery store with a list. And he came back with everything on it but he came back with like giant quantities of everything. Three boxes of our son's crackers. Two four PKS of macaroni cups. Three pounds of chia seeds. Three pounds of lunch meat. And like ten pounds of beef chicken. Now there's no room in the pantry for everything lol. My husband very much goes by the cat philosophy of putting stuff away. If it fits. It sits doesn't matter if it belongs there. If it fits there. It goes there. In fur I a ting. When he celebrates his birthday. I should be the one to clean. Cook and serve the guests so he can enjoy his birthday.
When I celebrate my birthday I should still be the one to clean. Cook and serve the guests because I was the one who wanted to celebrate my birthday in the first place. I was redoing our dry erase calendar and asked him does August have 31 days? And he replied baby. You don't need to worry about August you're working on September. I need to know what day September 1st falls on. Love. Towels can only be used once before they need washed. Sheets on the other hand never need washed. When we started dating, it had been a year since he had washed his sheets nauseated face. Why does this thread put me off marriage completely skull? One time my ex-husband woke me up to tell me he was going to use the coffee grinder and didn't want to wake me up. I asked him you mean like you did just now? And he didn't understand the issue at all tears of joy. All of these comments are making me never want to get married. Actually, babe, not only am I smarter than you for never making the bed, but you're dumb for making it. Because I read at LPT today that leaving it a mess increases surface area to expose to UV light, which will keep the sheets cleaner. When I'm the only one doing all of our laundry and I change the sheets weekly. We lived in a tiny studio and I didn't want to have to stare at a messy bed taking up half of our entire living space. Mine likes to call me so I can call someone his mom, the kids, etc. to relay information and then he wants me to call him back to relay what they said. Evidently just calling them directly is not an option because he's busy. But he has time to call me? And then take my return call? He's never been able to explain how he has time to call me and explain what he wants me to say but doesn't have time to deal with it directly face with rolling eyes. Oh wait, it's because I'm his default secretary person facepalming when I tell him I do not have time. I suddenly have an attitude unamused. ETA. I hope he put it all back in a box. I've said this before on Reddit and I will stand by it. My husband always asks, where's the ketchup? I can guarantee that if I go to any of you Redditors' homes, I could find the ketchup in 15 seconds, even though I've never been there before. And so can the rest of you women. My husband gets confused by similar appliances or cookware i.e. Dutch oven and crockpot. He doesn't understand why I need both. Not me but my expects my mom to fill out his resume and retirement papers for him. Without talking to her, she was told she was told to read between the lines. He'll accept hand-me-downs from his dad and never wear them. But when I ask why he says they're really good quality items, just not his style or the right size, I finally got him to agree that they may as well be old tissues for all the use they get just hanging in his closet, never seeing the light of day. We donated a bunch of items and he still occasionally talks about them as if he was ever going to wear them someday. The amount of husband logic in this thread that is just weaponized incompetence and disrespect. Edit changed phrasing. My ex spent all day on the computer, looking at social media or playing games. But if he wanted to know the weather, He'd find me and ask. I finally got fed up and pointed out that there was this thing called the internet and he can look up all sorts of things like the weather forecast. Not husband. Just long-term live-in partner. Him wears the packing tape. Me I put it away in the cupboard with the rest of the tape where it's been for the last four years. Him putting something in a cupboard doesn't mean putting it away. I love this game my partner got out of the shower after coming home from the beach and noticed sand in the swim trunks he took off. He started shaking the sand out directly onto our bedroom floor when he could have done it over the tub or the bin. I asked him not to do that and he was like, it's okay, I'll sweep it up and continues. He sweeps it up and proceeds to leave a bunch of sand on the floor. It got annoying to step on so I went back and swept it later.